Hello everyone, welcome to the session today. Today we are going to look at the principles of liquid penetrant testing. Liquid penetrant is a solution of dye with the ability to penetrate into fine openings. Liquid penetrant testing is used to detect the surface discontinuities that is invisible to naked eyes. It is suitable to detect flaws that breaks on surface due to porosity, quenching and grinding cracks, overload and impact fractures, incomplete fusion and flaws in joints. Liquid penetrant testing is commonly used to inspect many materials such as metals, glass, many ceramic materials, rubber, and plastic. However, liquid penetrant testing is not suitable for porous or very absorbent materials like fabric and unglazed pottery. It can be used to examine large quantities of materials quickly and not limit to the geometry of the part. Now let's have a look on how does liquid penetrant testing works. There are three main components needed in liquid penetrant testing, which are penetrant, cleaner, and developable. PT utilizes the principles of capillary action to allow penetrant to be drawn into small opening. The first step involves the application of penetrant by spraying, dipping, or brushing. After some uh, sufficient dwell time, the excess penetrant on the surface is removed by using the cleaner. Now, developable is applied to the surface to encourage the bleed out. It helps to draw the penetrant out of the floors and indicate the visible defect. Now we will move on to capillary action. It is the tendency of a fluid to raise in a narrow tube. It is due to the pressure of cohesion and adhesion which cause the liquid to work against gravity. Penetrants are often pulled into surface breaking defect by capillary action. The capillary force driving the penetrant is a function of the surface tension, the contact angle and the size of the defect opening. Since pressure is the force over a given area, it can be written as capillary pressure, P, and it can be expressed as the following formula, P equal to 2S cos theta divided by W, where P will be the capillary pressure, S equal to the surface tension, theta is the contact angle, and W is the width of opening. As we can see from the equation of capillary pressure, the effectiveness of a penetrant is affected by its surface tension. In order to quantify a liquid's surface wetting characteristic, we can measure the contact angle of a drop of liquid placed on the surface of an object. A liquid wets the surface when the contact angle's theta is less than 90 degrees. So here, we can see that in the figure it shows three different uh, liquids drops on the surface. You can see that when the theta is less than 90 degree, it shows good wetting, while when the theta is bigger than 90 degree, it shows poor wetting. An effective penetrant should have a very low contact angle or almost equal to zero contact angle. Viscosity of penetrant is another factor that we should pay attention to. Viscosity means the resistance to flow of a fluid. Liquids like water that flow easily have a lower viscosity compared to liquid like ketchup. Generally, the penetrant with suitable viscosity allow it to be applied easily and evenly over the surface of the material being inspected in order to provide complete and even coverage. Besides, the viscosity of penetrant will also affect its speed to fill a defect. A penetrant with higher viscosity will require longer dwell time. In addition, 
penetrant should always maintain its viscosity to be in liquid form so that it can be drawn back to the surface by the developer later on.